Hey guys, Nugi here, and today's video, PUE, a two-week charity race uh, hosted by good old Grinding Gear Games. Um, the race is going to start today, and during these two weeks, uh, I'll be streaming every day, um, at least eight hours, some days even more, uh, depending on how much time I have on my hands. Uh, I'm going to try and push in as many hours as possible. Um, Every day I'm also going to put out a video, uh, and this is the first one of them, where I today will go over, um, as you can see in the background, um, like the settings, I haven't played the game, I just installed it again uh, since I got a new computer or a new window set up and everything, so I have to install it again, so we're going to go over quickly uh, my settings, uh, and I have a build in store for you as well that I am going to show. Um, doing these two weeks, I'll also uh, keep updating the build. Um, I have a list of videos and uh, times where I want to do talk about their currency, how to roll maps, what about the builds, uh, updates to the builds and all this. Um, so a lot of good videos to come in the next two weeks. So um, for now, I'm just going to show you my settings and the build I have planned for the race. Yeah, let's get in. So this is just a fresh character. Um, as you can see here, I entered the game. Okay, there's no sockets showing anymore. Everything is kind of like the whole standard thing. One thing I know that though, listen to the music. I've had the music turned off for so long that I forgot how good it actually was. Um, also, I'm gonna finally be able to play in a proper resolution and I'm gonna play with a little bit higher settings because I'm not gonna party up with anyone so this is gonna be uh, pretty nice okay so let's see the graphics option we're gonna keep as such we're gonna we're gonna see if they optimized um, later on uh, <laughs> people warning me already um, sound effects I'm gonna keep them like this for now we can always adjust later on UI here we go so first off uh, show corner map. We're going to show the map. Items and objects will always be highlighted. Well, let's try that. Oh, I like that. Yes, of course. Always show sockets. Key pickup. That's something I always use. Uh, corpse targeting. Key health. Show mana. We basically want to show everything here. Show, show, auto equip, no. Mouse wheel zoom, that's fine. Can find mouse to window? Yeah, let's do that. If you are running windowed mode, that's so you don't run over to the other and click out. That's good for hardcore. For input, so I have a setup down here. Um, when you look at a keyboard like this, my hands will be placed like this side. The five. You see the finger? Ah, stretchy, stretchy. So I don't, I don't like using the five because tab for map, and then I can't reach the five. So what I usually do is I put it on D. Q W E R T is fine. Uh, du -du 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 -du. I normally have something else for the middle mouse. I think I have F for that. Yeah, so that's F. Because I knew I don't use the middle mouse. The middle mouse for me is kind of terrible. Uh, attack in place very important if you don't want to desync. Weapon swap for X that's fine. Detonate mines. I'm not going to use mines. Alt for highlight. That's so we could target. Good. Toggle highlighting. Uh, honestly, this can I can I not have this? Oh. Enable corpse targeting. A. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, actually, no. I need to have my inventory easy to reach as well. Um, there's nothing worse than having to move your hand over to the other side. So, what I do for inventory, I use A for quick and painless inventory opening. So, when I need to port out, it's going to be like, and this is a good tip, boom. Right? You run around, Q, you spam, you spam, you spam, A, boom, and you're out. That's how I do it. Very nice. Close all panel space. It's fine. Take a screenshot. Okay. Uh, I think for now the rest is fine. I can't remember if there's anything else. So that's my settings. 
Uh, so the build I've decided to go with is something because I am going to run this solo self found. Um, I thought about going into a group, but I don't like running groups uh, before making arrangements beforehand. So I chose to make this solo self found. Uh, the build is going to be with the new Molten Strike. I thought there was looked like a really cool skill. I haven't played a two hand melee character for a while, and this is going to be a two hand melee character. Um, I chose to start Marauder because I did need the life. And it had very nice access to fire resist, to a lot of resist, to a lot of life, some regen. And these new nodes are crazy. Look at these. Look at these. Attack speed and physical damage and then this. 10% max life on top of that. Gives you nice access way to the sword nodes down here with, with extra life. The hybrid nodes are some of the strongest nodes in the game. And this has been the case for quite a while now. Um, in early days, we all remember when Faith and Steel was so strong and everyone was complaining and then they started adding more hybrid nodes and they generally, if you can utilize both stats, they are crazy good. Crazy good. They, they add a lot of value. The Wicked Blade is really good. Uh, later on, I'm probably going to take Blade Master as well. Well, I am going to take that. I'm thinking that I need to add a lot of attack speed. Um, that with some life on hit is gonna be good versus um, the reflect. I have a lot of good ideas here. Uh, so the main, the main idea here is an easy to gear up character um, with a skill that's easy to use, and it. I need. I need to be able to get all the gems I need. And Marauder should have all the gems I need, at least the majority. Uh, I might have to run a mule or two. Anyways, two hand sword or axe. These are both sword and axe nodes. There are good so axe nodes and there are good sword nodes. So I have the option of going both axe and sword. So I'm covered there. I have a lot of region and life. Some very good life nodes. Uh, both a marauder down here and up at the Templar side. I'm going to go with just a few reduction nodes. Um, with resource reduction gem, I don't need that much. Uh, reduction to use uh, Purity of Fire, Grace and Hatred, which is going to be my three auras. Um, I am of course running Iron Reflexes for the armor from Grace. And then we have, uh, I'm going to be running Blood Magic. Uh, so all this region and life is going to be able to fuel my Blood Magic. Okay. So that means it's very easy for me to fuel my skill. It's easy to gear up because I have so much uh, life and resist on the uh, on the tree. So getting just life on every piece is pretty easy. So so in general, gearing of builds where you don't have to think about um, several different stats in every piece of gear makes it easier. Also, I have resolute technique. I don't need to worry about accuracy. Uh, then I have some very good strong notes here. Iron grip. I have a good amount of strength. Uh, Molten Strike, the projectiles um, scale with the projectile damage here. Then we have Point Blank, which means that whenever I'm close, the projectiles do a lot of damage as well, like the ones landing closest to me. The closer they are, the better. Boom. Mmm. Very, very high deeps, at least for the Hingle Tiger. Then we're, we're gonna have, probably have a good spread, like running around, but I feel. You go for the target, the things around them will whittle down eventually, but what you really want to be able to take down the key uh, the key monsters here. That's that's the idea. So I think point blank is going to work well with Iron Grip. So we have a lot of keystones and a good highway here. Uh, you all know this highway. You should by now. Uh, this is one of the stronger routes you can go, getting you a lot of life. Uh, the scaling of the, um, of the skill is also both with physical, uh, melee, and but mostly I'm gonna go for physical, attack speed, and elemental damage because it scales both the melee component and the range component. So we have a good uh, balance around the skill. Other than that, we have the uh, reflect, we have the max res, max res, more max res. We're gonna run purity fire for more fire max res. We're gonna run the potions, but I'm going to be showing all these items as I get them. Uh, I'll be updating videos and showing what I'm getting in the race and how I'm going to use it. Um, giving you updates um, every day until the race is over. When I'm done with the race, let me just say this. Um, I'm going to uh, give away all my gear. Uh, 
to one random lucky guy. Maybe I'll give uh, my stash away as well, from what I've left over, to some other random guy, we'll see. Uh, anyways, I'm not gonna keep any of this, this is all gonna go to you, so if you wanna try out the character, and you've been following me, well, you might be the lucky guy. Also, the race has a focus on Child's Play, which is a charity organization um, that provides uh, toys and games for children in hospitals. And it's it's um, I was kind of inspired by GGG uh, to just participate in this charity event. So uh, go over, check out the two-week charity race event uh, hosted by GGG. Um, I'll be uh, supporting it as well through my stream. Uh, go check out the event, go check out uh, the prizes, there are many prizes you can win. Um, I think we're gonna have a lot of fun. Um, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys on YouTube and on Twitch. So, until tomorrow, and tonight, have a good one guys.